Hello, people of God. Okay, here is the deal. December is the 12th month, and um, the parable of the midnight points to uh, number 12, which is midnight. And uh, if we put every month in the clock, December is the midnight. Uh, is is uh, the 12th month worldwide. And it was not midday on the parable, it was midnight. So it will be the 12th midnight. Uh, it points to a December. <clears throat> Many different um, signs point to December. Um, you know, the Bible says that he declares the end from the beginning. Uh, if we go to the Ark of Noah, the closest thing that we have to a worldwide massive event, um, like the rapture will be, um, Noah let the, the dove go in intervals of seven days. So we have a seven day from uh, the declaration of Jerusalem as the capital by Donald Trump. Uh, seven days to um, the Muslim 57 nations uh, gathering to um, to acknowledge uh, Palestine as the capital and protest. Then you have another seven days to um, the the uh, United Nations calling for a security meeting, which took place the very next day, the 21st. Um, the Bible says that in these intervals of seven days, the dove came back with uh, an olive branch in her beak. In her beak. So uh, the United Nations uh, logo has an olive branch, and that is pretty much uh, the third interval. Uh, I don't know if it has a correlation with it, but the fact is that in... Uh, December 23rd, 2016, the Antichrist, Barack Obama, uh, broke the covenant that he had made initially in his trip uh, to the Middle East in 2013, when he, where he went to Jerusalem, Jordan, uh, you know, the Palestinian uh, areas uh, occupied, um, and I uh, think Lebanon, and uh, he, he, he visited Petra. He, you know, he went to different areas over there, different countries, and uh, um, it is said that he had uh, signed a contract, a, a, a treaty with those countries of peace, which he broke uh, December 2016. Now, from December 2016 to uh, December uh, 23rd, 2017, uh, the very same day that he broke the covenant in 2016, we have 365 days that could be the walk of Enoch. Um, we don't know if the Lord is going to uh, call on Hanukkah for a double celebration. You know, um, the 20th was the last day and then another seven days until the 27th. We don't know. But every, everything does point to a midnight December uh, rapture. Um, I can say that from the 23rd, which is today, a three days delay, he said in the third day I finished my work. I don't know if he, we don't know if he meant that. Um, we have 100 days to a resurrection day, 2018, it's April uh, the 2nd. I know for a fact in my heart, 100% that um, the Antichrist will die in Passover and will resurrect in Resurrection Day. He, he imitates absolutely everything uh, that the Lord did. And it's 6,666 days since uh, the millennium uh, beginning, uh, January 1st, year 2000. So also from the day 6-6-2016, uh, six, six, the day he brought in the white horse to the White House, uh, I explained it in the uh, previous videos, uh, the Broncos, um, because they have won the Super Bowl, very convenient. And um, with everything, there is uh, so many proofs. There are still people that uh, put comments that Barack Obama is not the Antichrist. It's amazing. So we definitely have a seven days interval 
that ends with an organization that carries in its logo the whole world um, in water, in blue, with uh, the olive branch, um, the olive tree branch um, as a symbol around it. So uh, we got the seven days interval, and we also have have it ending uh, with an event that, that has the olive branch. I wonder if this is a replica, since the Lord says that there is nothing nothing new under the sun, that everything that um, will be has been, and everything that has been done, uh, you know, there's, there's nothing new, pretty much. It's, it's uh, Ecclesiastes uh, uh, depicts uh, clearly that... Um, Everything takes place all over again. It's kind of a biblical deja vu. Um, it happens again. The, the prophecies have uh, multiple fulfillments. So since we have that, and we have had so many signs, that, uh, and so many um, indications that the Lord has spoken that December is the month, um, I believe that, you know, the end of this Hanukkah did have a fulfillment. Uh, but we do not know because the Lord has reserved the day and the hour for himself. We do not know if it's going to be three days after that, like today, the 23rd, or if it's going to be the 25th, or if it's going to be seven days altogether uh, for a double celebration of a 14 days uh, Hanukkah celebration uh, that will be then on the 27th. Or if the Lord wants to actually end the year and wait until the very last day of the year uh, for this event. I highly doubt it. I doubt, completely doubt that the Lord will go over 2017. First of all, because uh, we have a 100 year completion and we got the 500 years completion also of the, of the 10 Jubilees. Uh, in 2017, uh, we have the 100 years from 1917, the 50 years Jubilee uh, from 1967, and if we jump into 2018, then we will be going into the 51st year rather than the 50th. And um, it will simply break uh, the biblical pattern uh, uh, you know, my brother says that uh, that the Lord has the rapture. He's always believed that uh, as a date or a date that has nothing to do with anything. But I strongly disagree. I think he gave us, um, you know, the signs to look for. And it's very um, interesting. I think... Um, extremely important to know that the Lord only mentioned that no one knows the day nor the hour. He reserved to mention uh, the month or the year. He never went into that. And I know, as I have explained it in previous videos um, in the past, probably erased, that uh, there are four angels in the Euphrates uh, river reserved uh, for the year, month, day, and hour. And there the Lord did mention, you know, uh, the four of them, the year, the month, the day, and the hour. But for the rapture, he only said, no one knows the day nor the hour, meaning we were entitled um, to know the year and the month. Now, the year at this point, if we only follow the, the biblical patterns, then it is 2017. It has to be. And the month. Well, it's the midnight. It's the month that go with the midnight. The midnight is, is the 12th uh, month. And midnight is 12. And also, it's the last possible uh, month of the year 2017. Therefore... Um, I'm inclined to believe we are living completely uh, sure that we are living in December. Shall we go 
into 2018, uh, which is, uh, I would say, extremely unlikely. First of all, because um, there has to be some some room, uh, you know, time frame there for the Antichrist to operate, uh, uh, you know, and prepare himself, and then, you know, exalt himself, and then, and then, you know, get killed in Passover which is something that he might stage himself, uh, you know, replicating. Uh, and, and rest assured that's going to happen in Passover, and he's going to resurrect in, in, um, on Resurrection Day, Nisan the 17th, April 2nd. Uh, I, I will say that uh, if we go uh, into 2018, then, then the blood moon of January 31st is definitely linked uh, to it, but I extremely doubt it because it's it's um, 2018 should be starting already with um, Satan's uh, ruling, and uh, <clears throat> I we have more than than enough uh, to believe that. Um, for the people that still don't know that Barack Obama is the Antichrist, you need to understand that his name, uh, Barack, in Hebrew means lightning, and Bama means uh, high places of worship, heavens, you know, uh, the skies, where the demons are in the, in the, uh, in the heavenly realms. Uh, not the heavens of the heavens, but... Uh, uh, this, this, you know, the skies that, that we see up there. And, uh, and you know, the Bible uh, tells us that Jesus said, I saw Satan falling as Barak. I saw Satan falling, you know, as a lightning. I think it's in Luke 10, 18. And um, if I'm wrong, I will put the, um, the verse there. And, I, you know, from, you know, falling as a lightning from the Bama, okay? Barack Obama is lightning from uh, heaven. Uh, as, uh, and that Bama is the same word that is used uh, in the Old Testament when he said, I will go, uh, uh, you know, uh, in, to the heaven, I will ascend to the heavens and I will sit uh, in the mount of the testimony. It, it says I will go to the Bama. So... Uh, you need to understand that this guy was born on the 216th day of the year, which uh, is, is the day 666. Six times six times six is 216. And um, maybe you want to check some references on the previous video uh, that I did about this guy. Um, back in 2013, the Lord showed me uh, how the 11 kings of the book of Daniel chapter 7 came to be the fourth beast. And it happens that when Harry Truman threw the, you know, the nuclear bomb, the atomic bomb in, in Japan, um, started to move the United States into the, um, into the number, of, uh, number one world power as Germany was um, perishing as a world power. And with the president, Dwight Eisenhower, which is the one that came right after, this country went into officially to the number one world power in the world and officially became the fourth beast. The Lord marked the first president, Dwight Eisenhower, with the last name, the name uh, of the first king of those 11 kings. Uh, Eisenhower means iron cutters, iron teeth. And the Bible says that the fourth beast had iron teeth. Uh, the etymology of the Eisenhower name is iron teeth or iron cutters. And um, the Lord marked the very first king. After that, we got 10 kings. And then the 11th king is Barack Obama. Donald Trump does not come out there because it only mentions uh, the first 10 kings and the remaining king that will close uh, since Barack Obama uh, will close um, the age. Uh, Donald Trump comes out in the book of Revelation chapter 17 as a king that is going to be there only in nothing but a short time, uh, which is, you know, the seventh king. Um, 
when when I got you know this um, revelation, the Lord started opening different um, other you know uh, many other signs that that this guy was doing and how numbers match this guy to perfection, and everything he does, he does it in a specific uh, date. Uh, for a reason, as he went into, for example, in, in 9, 11, 11, he went and said and, and read uh, the psalm uh, that says, uh, Behold, I am God. Uh, and, you know, he, he was pretty much declaring that he was God. And um, as he went to Petra on 3, 23, 2013, 3, 3, 3, uh, he, he does everything with numbers. Usually they match uh, the six, um, but he does numbers in, in other dates as well. Uh, now the, 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 uh, the numbers on six uh, match in a, an unbelievable way. Uh, and, and the places that he chooses, as he chose the Democratic Convention in uh, November 4th, 2008, in the Mile High uh, Denver Colorado um, Stadium, where is the only stadium that that has a white horse um, in the top of the of the stadium, and the uniform uh, that that the team uses has a white horse. Then later on, in June 6, 2016, six twenty sixteen, six six six, and that day he brought him into the White House uh, with the helmet in his hand. You know, pretty much he brought in the white horse to the White House. He's also had a uh, post from the White House. His, these pictures, they came out of the White House, uh, sitting in the throne of, uh, you know, like, like, like uh, Game of Thrones, and with the, with the, uh, with the bow there, <clears throat> the bow, the, uh, the arrows, the, uh, the, the crown, everything, um, pointing to who he, whom he is. And, um, you know, uh, mocking us. I know that the, one of the end times, uh, phrases that that mostly kids are are you know saying on the streets are in your face, and they they do something then they say oh in your face, uh, they playing sports and they they threw a hoop uh, and and they say in your face it's nothing but a Satan born phrase, telling you that everything he does, he does it in your face and you can't see it, as I explained it before this guy, uh, imitates. Uh, the Lord in everything, and he does everything specific dates. Um, he went six days before Passover in 2013 uh, to Jerusalem, riding, you know, uh, a donkey, just like Jesus. The only thing, the one he, he, he was riding it was the, the Democratic Party logo, uh, which is a donkey. And, um, and uh, you know, the Lord... The Lord came in uh, to this world uh, with an appearance that uh, a lot of people uh, don't know because they don't carefully uh, research uh, the scriptures. But the scriptures tell us that the Lord did not come in as a white man. He did not come in as a white man. He came in somewhat a black man. Um, and, and the scriptures are very clear in Isaiah 53 verse 2 where it says that he came as a root of a dry ground with no form, no comeliness, no beauty. The devil picked his own uh, out of poverty as well. Uh, he named him, you know, lightning from, uh, from the heavens, Barack Obama. And, uh, you know, it's, um, it's, it's amazing that, um, that one of his previous names, uh, Barry Soetoro, so a toro means the bull, uh, and and we know that uh, that's one of uh, also uh, Satan's uh, you know uh, looks you know the bull. He he's the man that 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 I mean no president has ever had so many flies in you know uh, landing in his face as this guy because he's built the bull. Uh, uh, Lord of the Flies, and there is so many, so many numbers matching these guys. You will have to, you will have to find videos and uh, and videos that there is in YouTube about this guy. How many numbers match, and how many things he's done, and and how many mysteries. There are just plenty. I mean, I, I 
honestly, um, many that I have forgotten. But I have to mention uh, something that um, I think it you know has to do with all this. Um, in 2013, my 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 son has a, had a, a dream uh, where two basketball players were uh, taking him to to the game, and uh, they were hawk, mocking him and everything. He kept on preaching. They put him in court side, and all of a sudden, the um, rapture took place, and one of the players disappeared in midair. I noticed that one of you know one thing the Lord did was He made it impossible for us to figure out which game that could be because none of the two players officially as last season this very last season uh, they were left uh, unemployed that, that's it they're, they're no longer playing anywhere uh, it was uh, Mike Miller and Chris Anderson back in those days they were playing together in Miami Heat and the both right now are not playing anywhere so you can't tell which game they are going to visit you know when the rapture takes place uh, but I am pretty sure that there will definitely be a basketball uh, game that day. And um, I will say, you know, stay focused, uh, praying, seeking God. This is it. We've never had all of these events um, put together in one month, especially after that uh Solar eclipse, the, the, the amount of disasters, natural uh, disasters, uh, definitely were not natural. They were judgments uh, from God sent specifically. Uh, earthquakes, um, devastating earthquakes, uh, devastating um, hurricanes, more than devastating, wiping out hurricanes. There is still a large part of Puerto Rico without uh, light uh, after so many months. Um, there are islands in the Caribbean, uh, Antigua, Barbuda, that they're, I mean, they were completely erased, pretty much. They're inhabitable. Uh, tremendous judgments. I mean, uh, after that, that solar eclipse, the Lord announcing, this is it. And um, in this month of December, boy, we have had, like I say again, in, in seven days interval, um, first, the most prophetic event uh, of the end times, uh, Jerusalem called the capital of, of Israel once again. Then um, the enemies of Israel gathering together. Um, and then... Um, again, the United Nations uh, with an umbrella of a olive branch um, rejecting that decision. Uh, we, we are definitely, uh, we don't know exactly what's going on, which day we can pinpoint the Lord has reserved that day. But I'm pretty confident that uh, it was, it's this December. I'll give you a testimony, a testimony that I have uh, that is, I mean, unreal. I was unemployed on February the, the 10th of 2017. And ever since, I've, I have been unemployed. I have never in my life been unemployed. Uh, that I just cannot find a job. I mean, I've landed a job several times I apply I get approved that's it I'm ready to start and then they call me and say no we're gonna pass we're gonna go a different direction this and that the Lord have been supplying me miraculously until now and um, as of early this month I was able to pay everything and that was it I have nothing else and not, no income has come in no more I refuse to believe the Lord brought me to <clears throat> this to this moment to just let me, uh, I'm protected. He has carried me almost a year. I only worked 40 days um, in the year 2017. After that, I have been unemployed. And for as much as I have tried to get me a job, I haven't been able. The Lord spoke to me twice and said the door is closed and it won't be open. 
I understood that he was letting me know this is the Jubilee, and in the Jubilee, you're not supposed to work. It is the 50th year where you go free and your debts are forgiven. And um, I can tell you, I have tried, I have ignored that word because I am a head of family, I have to supply. And no matter what, I haven't been able to find a job. And I got to tell you, uh, what I've been doing for so many years is just the car business. I am a... I know so many people. I, I never had that problem, never. In fact, I had multiple choices. But the Lord has supplied me in a miraculous way uh, all this time. And um, we have arrived to a moment where that's it. I have no more. I have no, there is no, I got nothing. So he got me here to, either he takes me up or I'm in big trouble, or he supplies, and he, I, I don't, I don't see, I don't see the light coming from any angle. So I, I know that he did all this, and um, I think it's a personal sign that um, it is this December. So let's see what happens, uh, people of God. Being repentance, being holiness, be preaching the gospel, be praying for people, and um, see you in the air. God bless you all. Shalom.